1970s come alive Through this memory box we've known With country tunes and vintage scenes We'll take you back in time To a simpler place where love and melodies intertwine Old toys, particularly those dating back to the 1930s and earlier, hold a special place in our hearts. They offer a nostalgic glimpse into a time when the simplest of objects brought immense joy. In the United States, the collection of old toys from the 1930s and earlier was incredibly diverse and creative. Take, for example, the rolling hoop. With just a stick and a hoop, children could have endless fun playing outdoors. There were also toy soldiers, hobby horses, and a wide range of dolls. From paper dolls to elaborate china head dolls, and even simpler rag dolls and storybook companions like Raggedy Ann, children had a variety of characters and narratives to fuel their imaginative play. Intricate tin wind-up toys, rhythmic toy drums, and delicate tea sets added their own unique charm to playtime. Doll houses, with their intricate details, offered a glimpse into the adult world, while stuffed toys of all shapes and sizes provided comfort and companionship. These old toys are a testament to the fun and creativity that defined playtime during those years. We have gathered numerous photos for you to enjoy and have also included a couple of articles from the 1970s and 80s that discuss the value of these collectibles during those times. Antique toys from the 1930s and earlier paint a vivid picture of a bygone era. They remind us of a time when a simple object could ignite endless fun and creativity. If you're interested in collecting old toys, look for ones made between 1860 and 1920. Earlier ones are harder to find, while later ones may be less appealing. Please note that the examples we are showing are black and white images from the antique toy department of FAO Schwartz in New York. One example is a mechanical bank in the shape of a monkey. When a coin is dropped into the slot, the monkey tips its hat. This bank, made sometime after 1880, is made of stamped iron, which was a more affordable alternative to heavier cast iron. This antique toy may be a little damaged, but you can still observe a circular spinning piece on the front and another one inside the box. Toy soldiers have a long-standing tradition that dates back to the 1700s, with Germany producing flat models and France creating dimensional ones. In the past, tin and lead alloys were commonly used in their production until the 1970s. However, around 1890, an English manufacturer introduced the holocasting technique, which made the metal figures lighter and more affordable. This innovation revolutionized the industry and made toy soldiers even more accessible to collectors. This collection offers a remarkable assortment of portraits featuring renowned American authors from the 1880s. These portraits are not only visually captivating, but they also provide a delightful glimpse into the past. 
Although the game itself may no longer be suitable for playing, owning it allows for a charming and entertaining exploration of the fashion and trends of yesteryear. Toy furniture craftsmen in the early 1900s not only used wood but also incorporated paper and metal into their creations. This particular set showcases the appeal of life-size designs that were popular in rustic country cabins. The concept of creating dolls for children originated around 1850. However, the initial attempts were merely miniature versions of well-dressed adult figures. In the 1920s, sculptors made significant efforts to accurately capture the physical characteristics of babies. As a result, dolls like the one shown here were created. These early examples of doll figures are both rare and expensive. We are only showing a small part of the set, which also includes additional trees, people, and numerous pairs of farm animals. All of these items have the delightful charm of folk art. These wooden figures were primarily made by German carvers in the late 19th century, although American and Scandinavian craftsmen occasionally produced similar pieces. Old toys from the 1930s and earlier continue to be cherished by collectors today, and one such toy is a set of wood squares covered with picture pieces. These pieces, when assembled, form six different city scenes including New York, Venice, London, and Paris. However, some scenes from the near and far east are more challenging to identify and put together. These scenes are lithographs inspired by famous printmakers like Courier and Ives, and they captured the public's growing fascination with color. The fascination with doll houses, which started in the late 18th century, motivated potters all over to create miniature versions of their pottery. If you have a collector on your Christmas shopping list and you have enough time to explore various stores, you will come across antique miniatures of almost every kind of pottery ever made. Old toys from the 1930s and earlier continue to be cherished by collectors today, serving as a lasting testament to the joy they bring. Among these treasured relics is a charming blue formal dress adorned with white trim and delightful red flower garlands. Toy collecting is more popular than ever, with adults all over the world searching for old toys from the 1930s and earlier. These toys, which used to bring joy to children, are now highly sought after by collectors. From tin wagons and robots to dolls with china heads and Shirley Temple faces, the prices of these toys are increasing every year as they become more rare. Collectors take their hobby very seriously. One example is Mr. Forbes who has a collection of 70,000 toy soldiers in his museum in Morocco. He recently purchased a vintage battalion from 1916 for $12,339, making it the most expensive toy soldier ever auctioned. Mr. Forbes also participated in an auction for the toy soldier collection of Leonard W. Richards, a British bank clerk who passed away at the age of 75. The collection, 
consisting of 17,000 lead miniatures, sold for a total of $124,890, setting a new record for a specialty sale. Another popular area of collecting is wind-up comic character toys from the 1920s and 1930s. Robert Lesser, a collector from New York, recently bought a rare Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse on a motorcycle for $3,000. These German-made toys are highly sought after, and a similar Mickey Mini with a barrel organ sold for $3,600 four years ago. The demand for these early Mickey Mini Mouse toys is partly due to their rarity and the fact that they have five fingers, which reportedly angered Walt Disney and led to a design change to four fingers. Toy collecting is a fascinating hobby that allows adults to relive their childhood memories and preserve the legacy of these old toys. The prices of these toys continue to rise, making them valuable investments for collectors. Whether it's toy soldiers or wind-up comic character toys, there is something for everyone in the world of toy collecting.